Hey everyone, welcome to Tacoma Games. I just want to do a quick video this morning about the den chest. Um, my camp is a mess, so I'm going to go ahead and get some of this cleaned up um, real quick while I just give a kind of an overview of the way that I do things. Um, so my den is very active and there are some weeks where I literally am only getting, getting in my like 50 qualifying points. Um, so it is about 5.40 a.m. Eastern Standard Time where I am. Um, the new den chest appears each week starts, um, at 4 a.m. on Wednesday. Um, so I woke up a little early. I figured I'd do this video before my den mates have a chance to get everything full. Um, it happens almost every week. Um, sometimes if I'm up early, I can get some, I can get some merges in. So let me go in here and just collect my chest. I have another one sitting over here. I don't always open them right away. Um, just because there are a lot of random eggs and I end up, um, bubbling a lot of them. As you can see, I already have a ton of eggs over here. Um, I think in one of my other videos, oh no, did I talk about that in my bubbling video? I'm not sure. Anyway, I did a bubbling video. Um, it was the golden apple method to bubbling single square items. Um, I think in that video, I might've talked about how I organized my eggs. When I did that video, I just kind of plopped them all around to get them out of the way. Um, this is how I organize. I have my mystery eggs up here. So these are all grouped according to which egg they are. These are my tier two eggs. Um, I keep those separated from the regular eggs, which are down here. Um, these regular eggs, I tend to separate sort of in color groups. Um, you know, and I do it by a rainbow because that's how my brain works. So I start up here with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pinks. Um, and then some other ones down here that are not exactly, uh, any of those particular cars. Here's a couple of these that I didn't pull over here. Get those over there. All right. So to the den chest, um, what I like to do. So the way it works is that each new dragon that you have in camp, um, earns you points towards the den chest. The higher level of the dragon, the more points that earns. Um, let me just merge some of these things. I may open these. Uh, I may open these den chests. So I just wanted to create some room. Um, let's see. I'm working on 5,000 different things in camp here at the same time. Hence the reason that it is just a mess. Uh, let's see what we have. Here. There we go. All right. So what I do with event rewards is I save them for the den chests. So if you can see over here, I have all these dragons um, and eggs. I have some nests. Um, I save these all over here and I don't pop these until Wednesday. Um, let me pull, these are all eggs, these are all dragons. So, I wait until Wednesday, I get all of these egg, um, these bubbles in one particular area, it's, which is usually here, and then I pop these when it's time for my den chest. So, right now I have zero points towards my den chest. Um, as you can see, some of my, some of my, um, den mates have been active, and have already earned up to a level three chest. So I'm going to go ahead and pop a few of these um, and get qualified. So then we can get a look at things again. 
So let me pull this up here where we can hopefully see. Get rid of that. Okay. Get rid of this guy. Okay. These were 88 den points each. So one, two, three, and then one pops back into my thing. Oh, four, oh. Oh, they must have been eight apiece. It looked like 88 because they were next to. So there were six dragons in that bubble. Um, eight points apiece. 48 points total. Okay. So that's how that works. Each each level has uh, different points associated with it. Each level of dragon. Okay. These are level four. So those must have been 25 apiece. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop the rest of these bubbles. You kind of get the idea. One apiece because uh, these are lower level. All right. Let me go ahead and pop the rest of these open. Pull them over here so we can at least see. Some of these are from um, the season tasks. Um, some of these are from the events. See this says royal rewards. These are rewards from this season is what these are um let's see i think some of these are camp and chill rewards even some of these ones that weren't labeled all right so that's the first thing i do i try i try to keep as little bubbles as possible believe it or not i have so many bubbles and i really try not to but um but it ends up like this anyway so I like to pop those first and foremost because, um, you know, I just, I don't want anything to, uh, go wonky with the game and lose stuff. So that popped us up over into a level four chest. Um, so each level of chest has a certain threshold you need to get to earn it. Um, to get a level four, I need to get 2,500 points additionally, beyond what has been earned to get the level three chests. Um, these are some tier two eggs I've been saving. Actually, these, what happened was I had been, I used my season decision eggs to get a bunch of these just so I could do this video and show you how many more points the tier two dragons accumulate for the den chest. Um, I actually, because I have enough dragon power and have all of my land unlocked, and healed um i usually don't go for the tier two nests anymore or, or i'm sorry tier two eggs anymore um i have been really wanting to level up the nature dragon let me go ahead and find it in here i never know where to find things in here i always i can't i can't figure out how they have this organized ever okay here we go um, so I've been using my season decision eggs on nature dragon eggs, um, which I think I have one bubbled right now. Yes, I do. I have one bubbled right here. So whenever the next season comes up, um, I'll be saving those decision eggs. So seven more days on this one. Um, I'll be saving those decision eggs for that. Um, Two, four, six, eight, ten. This is five. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and merge these tier two eggs. 28 points a piece. This is ten. We'll get four of those. Two, three, four, five. I always like to make sure that I'm actually merging these in fives because I don't want to lose um, an egg to a six merge by accident. Okay. So let's have a look at that. Come on. Pull these out of the way. So once I do, once I release whatever dragons I have bubbled, and once I merge whatever tier two eggs that I have, I'll go into my dragon book and I'll start merging what I have in here. Like, see, this is... Um, Sorry, let me go back so you guys can see. So these, this is five level sevens. Now this is a merge that I was saving from last week because my den, um, they went ahead and they had that, that den chest earned, I think before I even woke up last week. So I got my qualifying points. 
and um, I save these other merges. Um, so let's see what we have here. We're going to merge five, 88 points a piece. Okay, merge, merge. And I almost exclusively will merge dragons in fives. Oh, there it is. I was like, where is there a merge five? Um, I put my settings to that. That way, um, as you can see, these, this little number indicator here, um, it right now shows number six on my dragon book. That's how many, that's how many five merges are available. Um, I had it set to three merges way back in the beginning of the game and, um, might not be this way for everybody but it really was like tempting to me sometimes so I was like you know what I need to not see that there so I changed it to five merge and you know if, if you want see it still gives you the option to merge three so like sometimes if my den hasn't been as active and I'm really wanting to get that level five den chest I'll do some three merges just to get us over the threshold because you know the uh I don't need the dragon power. So, um, okay. These cosmic dragons are so cool. This is why I did the last event for these cosmic dragons. I haven't even looked at the new event yet. I probably am definitely not going to finish it. Um, so I'll go in there and just earn some of the, some of the rewards. And that's about it this week. See, some of these are, are worth more. Uh, so that level is worth like 200 and something each, even though it was a uh, level seven, which I had done before. Merge five. Okay, make two more in here. Level up there. All right. Oh, okay. Merge five. Ah, beautiful. Look at that. All right. So th this is a tier two um, nest. And I normally would do this for the den chest. However, um, August 23rd starts a new camp and chill, according to the calendar that came across um, on my game calendar anyway. Um, so I am not going to tap these nests. I'm going to leave those there and I'm going to save them for the camp and chill. Um, each tap on these tier two nests are worth, if I remember correctly, um, 990 points each or something like that. Um, so I'm going to try to save up some. I have this tier, two, these two tier two nests. I don't have any others. I'm going to try to earn some over the next, um, over the next, I don't even know. It's today's the 10th, I think. Is today the 10th? Yes, it is. Um, so it's in just under two weeks and, uh, I will try to earn as many as I can in that time frame. Um, just popping some more event bubbles that I had. These are rewards that I earned from the last event. I'm going to organize here and look at these. These are tier one nests. Um, some lower level eggs here and... I have three of these mystery super nests. So let me go ahead. I will do these because these don't give you as many points for the camp and chill. Okay, I have three cosmic eggs here and only one over here. So I'll leave those up there and bubble them at some point. Bubble this, oops, bubble this guy. No, this guy at some point. Um, merge these up. So, one, two, three, four, five. And that gave me another in here that I can merge five. All right. <clears throat> I'm 
mystery egg. I know I have lots of mystery eggs bubbled. Probably go to those next. Um, I don't know why I just deleted those. That was silly. Sold them. Um, let's see. So one point I will make about these super eggs. Um, these I did not realize for the longest time because my, um, I guess I never, I never just had the right timing, but these will count for camp and chill points. Even though you're not actively tapping, when you merge them, they will count as camp and chill points. Um, another thing that I've done, and I might try to save some of my season's decision eggs to see if I can do this. Um, if you have these super eggs, and I always merge these by five, especially in the beginning when I was trying to build up my dragon power. They give you a lot of lower level dragons, but if you accumulate a lot of lower level dragons, they merge up and, you know, obviously. Um, I found that to be a pretty effective way to go about doing things in the beginning. Some people say try to get the tier two eggs, but, um, you know, in the beginning when you have no, no two tier eggs, you have no way to get two tier, second tier eggs from, from decision eggs. Um, so anyway, these super eggs, if you have decision eggs and you merge super eggs, if you go out of your camp and you come back in while the dragons are still spitting out of the super eggs, so you have those active super eggs in your camp, you go out to the, um, you go out to the world map and you come back in. Sometimes a decision egg will give you the option of selecting a active super egg. Um, I think I've gotten it to do it twice for me. Um, so I might try and see if I can get, get it to do it again and get it on video for you guys. Um, but we will see. All right, let me get these out of here and merge what I can. All right, lots of eggs. Hmm. Okay. So I try to keep track of kind of where we're at. So now we're up to the earning points for the level five. So the level five you need to get 7,500 points for, which if you have some upper level dragons does actually go pretty quick. Um, let me pull this over here so I can see what else I have. Um... Okay, so I have some common eggs over here. Um, so eggs that you can buy out of the menu. Um, I have a bunch of these here. If I get these bubbled, I'll st stick them down here. So these are all like event rewards, eggs, um, things that you can't buy for magic coins in the menu. Um, I didn't happen to have any of the common eggs bubbled. Um, but like these are ones that you can buy. So these are ones that I will leave kind of separated over here. I left them out because I figured I'd use them for my, for my den chest. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some of these mystery eggs that I have down so that I can get rid of. Of course, I don't have enough of these, do I? No, I don't. Okay. So let me pull this guy over here. And so one, two, I have two of each of these over here. These are my, okay, ruby fire and tanzanite. So two ruby fire, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I try to make sure that I have enough because I don't want to rebubble eggs. I can do it. I just don't want to. Mm. So 
so yeah I try to keep an eye on kind of where I am on the chest but um, if I can get enough points I will show you guys um, once you get once the chest is earned if you make a merge it'll say you know maximum points reached or something like that um, that way you know when you don't keep merging thinking that you're gaining points when you're not okay one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five oh beautiful look at that lots of eggs out of bubbles okay go in here and we're going to merge these again I think these are my least favorite dragon, these uh, gargoyle dragons. They're so, so slow for starters. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, least favorite for sure. Okay, come on. All right, let's see where that has us. So we still have a bit to go. So I'm just going to keep plugging away. Oh, man, I didn't see that guy up there. Oh, so I missed out on a dragon. Oh, and I have these up here. I forgot about these. All right, well, I guess I'll be bubbling these at some point. <clears throat> let's see, I don't have any tier two eggs up here. No, okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I have some coins that I earned from my coin farm after the event. I'm going to go ahead and use those to buy some eggs and get through some of these that I have down here. All right, so I need one crimson dragon egg. All right, one, two, three, one, two, three. And one of the nice things about changing the settings to make it the dragons merge five is you can't accidentally merge three eggs on your board. You can only do five or six, but always buy fives. Okay. Come in here, I only have one of these. Okay. Let's see, do I have? I do not. So I'm a little deficient in magic coin at the moment. Like I've said in a couple of my videos, I don't know why, but I always, always seem to be needing coins. I can never have enough. All right, so I'll leave these over here for now. I know I have some that are five eggs here. Do this. Actually, it might be the only one I have over here. And the rest of these are threes, threes, threes. So this is the stage where on a normal week when I'm doing, um, when I'm earning points for the den chest, I will go ahead and I will get some of these out of here that um, I have three of, and I will just merge them through the dragon book. A, because I don't like to leave a billion um, bubbles out in my camp. <sighs> always have so many but I really try not to um so I'm gonna go ahead and do that just to not have so many around okay one two three one two three one two three one two three three one two three nice actually I have quite a few this week um the cosmic dragon eggs I will save because I would like to merge those by five um, they're new, and I like that dragon. Um, what I am going to do, though, I wasn't thinking of this, but I'm going to do this now, 
is oh why is there four of those why did i pop all four of those that was awfully silly um what i'm going to do before i and i should have done this before i popped these eggs or before i popped the bubbles and i've done this before and i clearly didn't learn my lesson is to open these den chests because there's always a random assortment of eggs in here and a lot of times you can uh, make some merges without having to pop all of those all right let me go ahead and open this i have never upgraded this to the premium um because i have enough eggs as it is as you can see according to all my bubbles um if i didn't have all of my land open i might consider it um but we're not going to do that today let me move these other items out of the way so i still have not earned my life flower wonder um no didn't mean to do that i'm only up to level 15 and i'm only up to level 15 because i earned some from wards um so i really love when i get life flowers in here okay got some random see look now i have had just took three of these out of bubbles and i got another one here and if i would have waited then i would have been able to leave that one up there and i'm going to kick myself now and i've done this before and not learned my lesson pop this one okay this out of the way Here's another one. This Sheba dragon egg, I think. Yep, I have three down here. That was very silly of me. All right. Let's pull this guy. So that did not give me any fives. Or any eggs that I can merge in fives. Um, that's all right. I'm just going to have to do some bubbling again. Story of my life. Okay. Let me go ahead and merge these den dragon eggs. Five. Okay, that gave me some things that I can merge in five in here. Let's find it. Again, I can never figure out where things are. Oh, okay. This is actually five merge for eggs. So I did get some useful eggs out of here. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and look at what eggs I have here that I can merge in threes. And I'm going to start going through, um, why did that do that to me? Going through here and start merging them. All right, so, and sometimes I will literally just go page by page in here because I don't always, um, otherwise I don't always find. Now, then this is another reason why. See this diva dragon here, it shows that I have two eggs out on the board that came out of the, uh, here's one, and here's one, um, that came out of the den chest, and now I have another one, a third one up here, so now I'll come pop that bubble, merge those, so I go one by one by one. And it's a little tedious, but, okay, I only have one of those over there, so I'm going to skip over that. Okay, two moon dragons out on the board, or moon dragon eggs out on the board. And I don't think I have any of those bubbled. That's funny, that's actually one that I normally do have bubbled, so that's funny that I don't have one this time. But that's okay. Okay, one of those and two of those. See, there we go. There's another merge I can make. Um, in my den's case, it's not always necessary for me to do this um, because we do normally earn the chest each week. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes for you guys. If you have a den that's maybe not as active or um, like I've had weeks where you know, a couple days go by, oh, shoot, I hit the wrong thing, um, a couple days go by, and my den mates haven't been as active, um, here we go, here's another one, um, you know, so I'll really have to, like, step up and, and get some merges and earn the points, okay, passion dragon, yeah, 
yes, that's one that I had put out before. Okay, merge to there. I think I have one up here. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, merge three. Okay, do we have any of these up here? I do not. Okay. Dear Dragon. These eggs are so funny because they're like so tall with the antlers. <laughs> and um, if they're like hiding, sometimes they hide other eggs. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, let's see. Definitely do not have any of those. Okay, moving on. Turtle. Do I have a turtle egg somewhere? No. Okay. So this is why I like to group by color. Because it's like super easy. Oh, look at this. Blue egg. Here's all my blue eggs right in here. And it is clearly not there. Um, in the beginning, I didn't really organize them in any particular way. And it was such a pain to try to find out where they were. And I was like, all right, what, how do I do this? And for my brain, it just made the most sense to merge them in color group. Or I'm sorry, arrange them in color groups. Um, Mm, only have one of those there. Okay. My S pen is not being very reactive. All right, so only have one of those. Then. Okay, this one I only have one of. Okay. Now this guy, I have two bubbles, so that's another merge. Then that gives us a five merge. And these, of course, are lower levels, so they're not earning you a ton. But I've had times where I come in here and merge some lower levels, and then it gives me some five merges in the book, so... Um, real quick, I'm going to come over here because I'm curious where I'm at. Oops, I just moved something I didn't mean to. Curious where I'm at in the Dragon Homes. I don't remember. I always kind of neglect my Dragon Home. Um, did not pull that. I wanted to pull that. Um, I do like the little bunny eggs, but... Just, I feel like there's so much else I'm trying to accomplish in camp that I don't always, uh, don't always come in here and collect these guys. So this is what I'm curious about. I wasn't sure how far I was in the, um, collecting the bunnies to get a bunny chest, reward chest from it. Oh my gosh, this takes forever. This is why I try not to have so many bubbles in my camp because I swear it slows it down. Okay, so I'm at zero out of three. Okay, so this is a little um, reward chest that you get in a bunny crate. And um, I was curious how far along I was, if I was closer, because um, I have three bunny eggs here, but I am not close. So I'm just going to, oh, let's see, bunnies, here's one. Here's two, and I did not see the direction my other guy went. So let's hope we can find him. Oh, there he is. Look at him. He's hiding right here. I can see the tops of his eyeballs. All right. So once you get three stamps, you get a bunny crate. I'm not going to get that today. So I am going to just move along. Let's find that bunny egg. Get us back to where we were. Okay. 
keep moving along. Keep these merges going. Royal Guardian. Let's see. Oh, oh, I have three of those up there. I didn't even notice that before. See, now this is where it pays off to open the chest first. I have, oops, I have one Royal Guardian egg from the chest. I can get two of these out and leave the other one bubbled without having to rebubble it. And see, here's some merge five. So when you get really lucky, you get a merge five and then a merge five and then a merge five and then a merge five. Um, that has happened before. None. Okay, one there. And do I have any here? I have one. Oh no, I have two. Okay. This I have three of. See, look, now this gives us a couple of merges here, which is nice. These are pretty cool, too, the Den Dragons. I'm curious what these upper tier levels are going to look like. Okay. Dessert Dragon. Oh, I do have two of those out. Oh, I do. Yeah, hi. Right next to each other. I think I have one over here. Yes, I do. Okay. And this is why I go one by one, because when you get so many of them on the board, you can't always keep track of what, what's actually there. Man, I'm going to have some bubbling to do. All right. I think we are just about done. Um... Any of those? Okay. Okay, this guy. I know I have some, but I'm going to save those because I don't want to do that. all those okay all right so let's have a look see just make sure i don't have any more hiding over here i don't think so i think i actually went through them pretty well all right so i have this which i will go ahead and do should have done that before but that's a-okay uh one two three four all right, so I'm just going to pop all these out of here because I'm going to try to earn some of my magic coins, get some more points, get to get some of these common dragon eggs off my board. That way I don't have to bubble them. All right, let's see where we're at in here. Okay, so we are at 994 out of 7,500 that we need for the level 5 chest. Um, now if I went ahead and emerged, I'm sorry, tapped these tier two nests and then merged those, that would get me a bunch more points, but I really want to save those for the camp and chill that's coming up just to show you guys how quickly those higher tier nests can earn you all of your camp and chill rewards. Um, Let's see, I'm probably going to grind a bunch of um, coins over the next couple of weeks before that camp and chill. Um, try to get up to some more, some more tier two nests. Let me look at my common dragons real quick with you guys, show you what I have here. So yeah, see I have three level four of the toadstool dragon. And three of the level three. So that'll definitely work on. Um, let's see. Sometimes these will spit out. What did they spit us? Nice. A nest. Beautiful. And two eggs. I haven't tapped those wonders in a while. So I kind of had a feeling they might have been hanging out in there. That was lovely. 
Um, so what I'll do is with whenever my coins get built up, I'll probably buy a bunch of these toadstool eggs because that one's super close. And then I will um, merge these level fours to get a nest. Let's see, rock dragons. I have two level fours. This I have two level fours. Four level fours. Okay, so toadstool dragon and sharp dragon will work on. Spotted dragon, I only have two. Green dragon, I have four. Okay, nice. I'll work on that. Rock dragon, I have three. I'll work on that. Okay, grass dragon, I don't have any level fours, so I'll probably let that one fall to the side. Awesome. So, Crimson Dragon, Rock Dragon, Green Dragon, and then I think it was Sharp and Toadstool, right? Because Spotted, I have two. Okay. Nice. So, it looks like I'll be pretty easily be able to get a bunch of Tier 2 nests, which is awesome. Um... The other thing that earns a ton of points for Camp and Chill is the level six stars um, and the highest level of chess. So these level seven giant treasure, treasure chests. Um, the reason I love these treasure chests is they earn you a bunch of points when you open them. They usually give you some, well, they always give you stars. And then you can merge your stars up to get higher level stars. And then if you get the level six stars, they're, they're worth a ton of points per tap. I think like a thousand or something. I don't always have stars, so I don't really count on doing stars for camp and chills. Um, but I will sometimes um, save up a bunch of chests. I don't really have a lot of chests right now. Um, the best way I found of earning chess is with the um, Stonehenge. Some people like the watermelon trees. I find Stonehenge to be a little more productive for me. Um, you can double, um, I'm sorry, you can quadruple tap that to get two dragons harvesting at the same time. Um, make it a little more efficient. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll just grind out of Stonehenge. It earns me, um, earns me all this lovely stone that I can use. And right now I'm actually probably going to work on that shortly. That's my bunny. Um, this is my bunny portal for the events. Um, so if you upgrade that, you get these higher level event rewards. This is the season portal. These are beta things, um, so not everybody's going to have these. Um, I was very fortunate to get them, and I think these are what put me over the edge and got me up to enough dragon power to open up the rest of my land. Um, this is a quest uh, that I've been ignoring, a task. I'm not sure what you want to call it exactly. Um, I really want this reward, so I am going to go ahead and do this at some point, but because I'm at the max level, I've kind of been ignoring it. I've been trying to work on this, um, on these, the bunny portal, the event portal, because I want to upgrade this. I've reached level 14 and I feel like I got there pretty quick. And then now I've been kind of at a standstill. All of my, um, tasks for this have been like really, um, more difficult items. So I've been working on them. There are levels you can do. Um, I, the thing that irritates me is I had this task like two tasks ago and I found levels and I did them and, you know, it, it took me a while because they were like levels that required multiple chalices. So you couldn't just go back in and do them a bunch of times in a row and get it done. So I've kind of been ignoring it. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll pull the rest of my stone hinges out. I think I have like five of them bubbled here. And I'll grind for some stone and some chests. And I'll get those chests set aside as well for the video I do on the 
um, camp and chill event. So I think that is pretty much it for today with the den chest. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Give me a like and a subscribe if you want to see some more content. Definitely going to continue posting some stuff. Um, I know I'm going to do an Arcadia video at some point. Um, I'll see about maybe just doing a quick event video. I'm not going to complete this event that's going on right now because we have a ton of stuff happening this week. Um, and I'm not going to have the opportunity for a lot of active or passive play because we're going to be, um, we're not going to be home often. Passive play really only works for me if I'm home and have access to have my phone charged or charging most of the time. Um, so I may do just a quick little, you know, video. I like to go in, at least get Arcadia rewards, those Arcadia chests. Um, that's probably about as far as I'm going to get this time. So, all right, guys, thanks for uh, watching my video. Like I said, if there's specific content you're looking for, let me know. I will be more than happy to put a video together if I have the answers that you're looking for. Um, if not, I'll be happy to try and do a little research and see what I can find out. Maybe I can learn something new, which I'm always up for. Um, give me a like and a subscribe if you like these videos. Um, and I will see you guys next time. I hope everybody has a great day.